Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Corvette games on the PS2. Corvette is a really fun racing game. It's one of those games you've never heard of but should. Because the game is great. The controls are arcade, the game has a nice sense of speed, the controls are great and the game also has personality. It's not a generic racer. The tracks have charm. I mean, racing in a military airstrip filled with nuclear stuff or racing in a strip mine and even the more generic tracks still have personality. And the light camera wobble makes the experience nicer. At least this was the case for me. As for game modes, you get quick race, arcade and career mode. Career and arcade are pretty similar to each other. You choose a generation of Corvettes and race a series of races. At the end you race one on one and if you win you progress to the next generation. There are 15 generations of Corvettes and I like that the cars have different speedometers. You can also upgrade the cars and do some light customization. There is a mode where you get chased by the police like a Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. The game is great. Corvette Evolution GT is another great game and for a budget game it's fantastic. The game has again arcade driving controls, which some like, others don't, I mean the team that like the controls. And the game tries to be more of a simulation this time. So it combines simulation physics with arcade controls. And for my taste, it's a good combination. The game has 35 licensed cars and 28 tracks, and this time it doesn't try to be more extreme, this time it tries to look more like Gran Turismo or other simulation games. And the graphics are really beautiful. The game brings new mechanics, like the Tiger effect, which is a rewind feature. And another new feature is that you can intimidate opponents by driving recklessly around them. And also opponents can intimidate you too. And your screen becomes blurry when they do. Also now you can draft behind other cars. And this time, upgrading is more complex. You are asked for your playstyle, if you race clean or are more of a dirty driver, then the team you choose also has an impact on the end results, as there are teams that reward you more for driving clean. And you also get a point system to upgrade stats in a more detailed way. The career mode is nice, it forces you to start with the slow cars and progressively get you to the faster and faster models, but it also spices things up and lets you drive faster vehicles along the way until you get to the big stuff. This helps to keep the experience fresh. You're switching vehicles at a nice pace, and vehicles have different stats, so they feel much more different than in the first game. In the first game, cars had different stats too, but here they seem to be even more detailed. Also about cars. I know the title is Corvette, but now you don't get just Corvettes. You get cars from other manufacturers too. Like Even if the opinion on the internet is mixed about these two games, I consider them hidden gems. They might not sound much on paper, but the fun factor is high when you play them, and that what counts in the end, how much fun you have when you play the games. Sure, they maybe don't compare to the big titles, like Gran Turismo, but considering their budget, I say that the games turned out to be masterpieces. Not because they are the very best games, but because the devs managed to make, from a small budget, games that look good, have nice content, and above all, are nice and fun to play. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell review thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.